Welcome to this service. At entrance, you should tell, Heavenly Father God, let your mercy be upon us. Give the dead peace and rest. Give the churches unity and give the world peace. Amen, amen, amen. Let us pray the prayer of preparation. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secret are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our heart by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer of Penitence God so loved the world that he gave his only son Jesus Christ to save us from our sins, to be our advocate in heaven, and to bring us to eternal life. Let us confess our sins in penitence and faith, firmly resolved to keep God's commandments and to live in love and peace with all. Confession Father eternal, giver of light and grace, we have seen in what we have taught, in what we have said and done, through ignorance, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We have wounded your love and married your images in us. We are sorry and ashamed and re repent of all our sins for the sake of your son jesus christ who died for us forgive us all that is past and lead us uh, out from darkness to walk in children of light amen gloria gloria in excelsis deu gloria gloria in excelsis deu glory to god in the highest and peace to his people on earth Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Gloria, Gloria in excelsis Deu. Gloria, Gloria in excelsis Deu. Jesus, Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Gloria, Gloria. In excelsis Deu, Gloria, Gloria, in excelsis Deu, Amen. The Bible, Matthew 20, part 1 to 16. Jesus tells a story about some workers in a field. Jesus said, I will tell you a story to show what the kind uh, kingdom of heaven is like. There was an important man who had a field where he grew grapes. He went out early in the morning. He wanted to find some people who would work in his field. The master agreed with the workers that he uh, would pay them one silver coin for a day's work. Then he sent them to, uh, to work in the field. The master went out again about three hours later. He saved some other, other men standing in the marketplace. They had no work to do. So the master said to uh, these men, you also, uh, you also go and work in my field. I will pay you the right amount of money. So the workers went to the master's field and started to work. The master went out again at noon and he went uh, again three hours uh, after that. But both times he sent men to his field to work. Two hours later at five o'clock he went out again. He found more men who were standing there. Uh, 
and uh, they had no work to do the master asked them where are you standing here all day, all day and you are not working so the men said to the master nobody has asked us to work for him so the master said to them you also go now and work in my field then the evening came the master of the field went and spoke to the man who washed the workers he said to them tell the workers to come here pay them their money begin with the workers who started to work at the end of the day finish with the workers who started first the workers had, uh, who had come to work at five o'clock in the evening received one silver coin each. The workers who had come first to work through uh, that uh, they would receive more than uh, the other workers, but each of them also received one silver coin. When they received their money, they were not happy. They told the master that he had not been fair to them. They said to him, some of them, uh, some of them, uh, the other, the other workers came last and only worked for one hour, but you have paid them the same money as you paid us, and he have worked all day in the hot sun. Then the master said to one of the workers, my friend i am being fair to you you agreed to work for one day and i receive one silver coin and to receive one silver coin take your money and go home i choose to give this last man the same amount of money as i gave to you it is my money i can choose what to do with it i want to to be kind to people and give uh, them more. Does that make your, you upset? Jesus went on to say, so one day those people who are not important now will become the most important. Those people who are very important now will become the least important. This is the word of Jesus thanks be to god hallelujah 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 epistle roman 11 part 1 to 12 some of israel's people do trust god so ask this has God turned away from his people no certainly he has not done that I myself belong to Israel's people I am a descendant of Abraham and I belong to Benjamin's family group God chose who would be his people from the beginning he has not turned against them now Remember what the Bible tells us about El Elijah. He wanted God to punish Israel's people. Elijah said, Lord God, they have killed your prophets. They have destroyed the altars where people offered sacrifices to you. I am the only person alive who still saves you. And they are trying to kill me. This, is, this was God's answer to El Elijah. There are still 7,000 men that I have kept for myself. Those men have not worshipped the false god Baal. Baal. It, is the same as, uh, it is the same at this time too. There is a small number of Israel's people that God has chosen to trust them, to trust him. He has chosen them because he is very kind. 
this shows that God has not chosen them because uh, because of any good things that they have done. If that was true, we could uh, not say say that God was really being kind to them. It would not be His gift. So we can say this: Israel's people did not all find uh, what they were looking for. Only these uh, people that God has chosen received it but the other people of Israel became unable to understand God's message it says this is the this in the Bible God caused them to be like people who are sleeping even until this day their eyes cannot really see and their ears cannot really hear kind they David says uh, this they enjoy eating lots of good food together I pray that God will catch them while they are eating I want those good things to lead them into trouble I want uh, God to punish uh, them because of what they have done I want their, their eyes to become dark so that they cannot see. I want their bodies always to be in pain like slaves. So now I ask this. When Israel's people failed to accept Jesus as God's Messiah, did they make themselves separate from God forever? No, certainly that is not true. Because of their mistake, God is not saving Gentiles. God is doing that so that Israel's people would become jealous. Because of their mistake, God has done good things for everyone in the world. Israel's people failed to receive what God wanted to give them. As a result, the Gentiles have uh, received very, very many good things from God that was the good result when Israel's people failed failed so when the complete number of Israel's people do turn to God the result will be even better this is the word of Jesus thanks be to God hallelujah hallelujah Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Gospel, John 16, part 1 to 15. I have told you these things so that you won't, you won't abandon your faith from God. People will send you away from their meeting, meeting places. There will be a time when people will want to kill you. When they do this, they will even think that they are doing what uh, God wants. They will do these things to, to you because they, they have never known even either their father or me. But I have told you this so that you will remember when they begin to do this uh, to do these things you will remember that I told you about them already I work of the work of God's spirit I did not tell you these things at the beginning because I was with you but now I will go to the Father who sent me, but none of you asks me, where will you go? And now you are very sad because I have told you these things, but what I tell you is true. It will be better for you if I go away. 
because if I do not go away, the helper will not uh, will not come to you. But if I do go away, I will send him to you. When he comes, he will show the people of this world what they are like. He will show that they are wrong. They are wrong about what sin really is. They are wrong about who is right with God. They are wrong about who God judges people. They are wrong about sin because they do not believe in me. They are wrong about who is right with God because I will go to the Father and you will not see me any longer. They are wrong about how God judges people because God has already judged Satan, the ruler of this world. I have many more things to tell you, but you are not strong enough to know them now. But the Spirit will come. He is the one who shows people true things about God. When He comes, He will be a guide to you. He will help you to understand everything that is true. He will not speak on His own authority. He will tell you only what He hears from the Father. He will tell you about things that will happen after this time. He will take my message and He will tell it to you. In that way, He will show how great and how good I am. Everything that the Father has in mind. That is why I say, the Spirit will take what is mine and then He will tell, tell it to you. Glory be to you, O Lord. Hallelujah. 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 A message from God. A wicked person turns against God completely. He does not respect God. He is too proud to think about his sin, so he does not hate it. He speaks wicked things to deceive people. He does nothing that is wise or good. While he lies on his bed at night, he thinks about bad things that he can do. He lives only to do things that are not good. He does not turn away from evil things. Lord, your faithful love reaches as high as the sky. People can trust you beyond the clouds. Your justice is like the strongest mountains. You always do what is right, more than the seas are deep. You take care of people and animals to keep them safe. God, your faithful love has great value. You keep all humans safe, like birds protect their babies under their wings. You have plenty of food in your house to give them all that they need. You give them water from your river that makes them happy when they drink it. Yes, you are the one who gives us light and life. Continue to love those who serve you as your people. Let good, honest people receive your justice. Do not let proud people hurt me. Do not let evil people chase me away from home. Now I see that those wicked people have fallen down. They are lying there on the ground and they cannot get up again. Hallelujah. Amen. Preaching A powerful prayer to shed the evil stronghold on your life. Amen. Dear Lord, reach out to me today and fill me up with your light and hope for tomorrow. Instill in me your mighty strength and give my weary bones rest and is my aching soul. I feel like 
I search for you every day looking for you to show me how to win my battles and fight. Amen. I know that you are there for me, but sometimes I feel you are so silent. Let your word jump off the pages of the pages for me. Amen. Let new words penetrate my heart, bringing me closer to you. Whisper in my ear what you want me to hear. Amen. Oh, what a great day it would be if I could lay my worries at your feet and leave them there. What a glorious day it could be if I just trusted you. If I could just let you control of my life, but I fall short daily. Thank you for not giving up on me as I have often given up on you. I feel my emotions overcoming me, emotions of sadness, anger, and failure. Take my hand, Father, and lead me out of this darkness into your loving light. Amen. Lead me away from my enemy's grasp on me. Release me from his evil traps. Give me strength to rebuke his lying schemes. In your great name, Jesus. Amen. Breathe your holy breath into my holy spirit, giving me thoughts of peace and hope. When the doubts come uh, creeping into my mind, when your uh, soul falls into despair, lift me up and show me your vision for my life. Amen. Guide me along the way. Let me not lose sight of you. Show me how to have your sanity in your presence and for your purpose. I will be surrounded by your love. Amen. The Creed We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven, was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and was made a man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. This, uh, he, he suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Prayers of intercessions. We pray for the whole world to solve their conflicts and live in peace and grace. Thanks, Lord, hearing and answering our prayers. We pray for all poor countries. Give them rain and let them use it usefully to make food. Thanks, Lord, hearing and answering our prayers. We pray for sick people. Please heal them and let them know your miracles and let them adore you. 
Thanks, Lord, hearing and answering our prayers. Amen. The peace. We are the body of Christ. In the one spirit, we were all baptized into one body. Let us then pursue all that makes us for peace and builds up our common life. The peace of the Lord be always be with you. Amen. Preparation of taking the bread and wine. You must have a piece of bread and a glass of non-alcoholic wine or water. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to set before you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be with God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this vine to set before you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us the cup of salvation. Blessed be God forever. Your Lord is the greatness, the power, the glory, the splendor, and the majesty. For everything in heaven and on earth is yours. All things come from you, and of your own do we give you. The Lord is here, His Spirit is with us, lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord, let us give thanks to the Lord our God, it is right to give thanks and praise, Amen. It is indeed right. It is our duty and our joy at all times and in all places to give you thanks and praise. Holy Father, Heavenly King, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. For He is your living Word. Through Him you have created all things from the beginning and formed us in your own image. Through him you have freed us from the slavery of sin, giving him to be born of a woman and to die upon the cross. You raised him from the dead and exalted him to your right hand of high. Through him you have sent upon us your holy and life-giving spirit and made us a, a people for your own possessions. Therefore, we angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and singing, Holy Holy, Holy, Lord God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Accept our praises, Heavenly Father, through your Son, our salvation, Jesus Christ, and as we follow his example and obey his command, grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us his body and his blood. Who 
is in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks he broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take eat this is my body which is given for you do this in membranes of me in the same way after supper he took the cup and gave you thanks he gave it to them saying drink this all of you this is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me therefore heavenly father we remember this offering of him, himself made once for all upon the cross we proclaim his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension we look for the coming of our kingdom and with this bread and this cup of a uh, cup we make the memorial of christ your son our lord amen christ is risen christ will come again amen accept through him our great high lord this our sacrifice of thanks and praise and as we eat and drink these holy gifts in the presence of your divine majesty renew us by your spirit inspire us with your love and unite us in the body of your son jesus christ our lord through him and with him and in him in the unity of the holy spirit with all who stand before you in the earth and heaven we worship you father almighty in songs of everlasting praise blessing and honor and glory and power be yours forever and ever amen the lord's prayer our father in heaven hallowed be your name your kingdom come your will be done on earth as in heaven give us today our daily bread forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for the kingdom the power and glory and are yours now and forever amen If you are many, break the bread and share with each other. Though we are many, we are one body because we all share in one bread. Son of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Son of God, you take away the sin of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sin of the world grant us peace amen giving of communion most merciful lord your love compels us to come in our hands were unclear our hearts were unprepared we were not fit even to eat this crumb, the crumbs from under your table but you lord are the god of our salvation and share your bread with sinners so cleanse and feed us with the precious body and blood of your son that he may live in us and we in him and that we with the whole company of christ may sit and eat in your kingdom amen god's holy gifts for god's holy people jesus christ is holy jesus christ is lord to the glory of god the 
Vader. Amen. You can eat the bread and drink the wine or water. If it is water you are drinking, you can uh, ask Jesus to turn as wine in your body. The peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of His Son Jesus Christ our Lord and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. It is the end of the service. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Jesus, Amen. At exit, you should tell, I give over my past to the mercy of God, my presence for the love of God, and my future of God's protection. Amen.